Okay, so we all know what James Ward Prowse is known for, and it's his incredible free kicks. But I genuinely do believe that the rest of the Premier League have made a massive mistake allowing him to go to West Ham United. Because James Ward Prowse, in my opinion, is an extremely underrated player because he's only known for his free kicks. Don't get me wrong, his free kicks is one of the best in the world. There's not not many, maybe not any player that can take a free kick better than James Ward Prowse. I mean, the amount of free kicks he scores on a regular basis is ridiculous. But James Ward Prowse, what he does for the team is also extremely underrated. He works very hard for the team. He can make um, very good passes. He can make opportunities for the team. I think he's actually a really good midfielder. And for me, in the past few seasons, I've been surprised that he hasn't um, started for England. I genuinely do believe James Ward-Prowse should be starting for England because he would bring such a, a different dynamic to that midfield. But looking at this West Ham United team, can we talk about the midfield recruitment of this team? They have now gotten Edson Alvarez, James Ward-Prowse and Mohamed Kudis for all the same price as Declan Rice, uh, at the same mo money they used from selling Declan Rice, the three players they've brought in. I, I don't think I've seen a better investment in my lifetime from selling a big player. I mean, l look, n uh, no joke, I'm being dead serious. I genuinely believe that all three of them at this moment in time are better than Declan Rice. Edson Alvarez, we all know what he achieved. For Ajax, and in just just a season ago or something, Chelsea was chasing him. Dortmund was chasing him at the start of the window. Edson Alvarez has played at the highest level in Champions League football. He is a top class defensive midfielder, and I think that there's certain attributes of him that, at this moment in time, I do believe he's better than Declan Rice. I think Rice can go on to be a better player, of course, but in this moment in time, I think Edson Alvarez is more of a complete defensive midfielder. Then you go on to James Ward Prowse, as we just mentioned. The dynamic he brings us to this team to, from set pieces, uh, corners, crosses into the box. Obviously, um, uh, during the game, the, the diagonal passes, the precision he can play, the, the technique of James Ward Browse is so precise. It's incredible. What he brings to this team, we already saw this season um, or the cross from James Ward Prowse um, to win West Ham a point. Um, we are, as we already mentioned, uh, with uh, actually, actually, it was more than a point. It was three points. That's what James Ward Browse has already done. And then you go to the best of them lot, Mohamed Kudus. What a signing this is for West Ham United. I think this is their biggest signing in years. Mohamed Kudus is incredible. Incredible. He is one of those players that I desperately wanted my team at United to sign. Like, uh, he's just that good. He's just so, so good, uh, Mohamed Kudus. I've watched him play for Ajax. I've watched him play for um, Ghana. Uh, he, he's, he's literally the heart of the team. He can do everything. Literally everything, Mohamed Kudus. He's such a good player. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not. I'm just saying he's good without actually saying what he's good at. But I, I just... Mohamed Kudus, is, he's just one of those players that, that has... That just has that in him. He's he's just always there. He's always scoring goals. He's always making chances. He's always there for the big occasion. You know when you see uh Kudis, uh, when you see Ajax playing Liverpool, who's gonna score for Ajax? It's gonna be Kudis in the big games. Who's gonna step up? It's Kudis. If if the game is going tough, if it's if it's uh difficult, if it's a difficult game, Mohamed Kudis is that guy that's gonna turn things around. That's going to get you a goal. That's going to be a pest. For the opposition side, Mohamed Kudus just does absolutely everything so well. His ball carrying ability is excellent. His dribbling excellent. His his power in shooting. You see the types of goals he scores. How without even backlift, he's getting so much power. Mohamed Kudus is one of the best talents in his area, and I'm I'm so shocked that not not other. I'm so shocked that uh, West Ham on the teams getting that there weren't other teams in for Ahmed Kudus. I think that he's going to have an insane season. Um, I really rate him so highly. But I just wanted to talk to you guys about this West Ham rival, which is 
on another level. Let me know what you guys think. Um, shout out to the two channels that I've used just to um, uh, to show you guys some clips of Kudis and James Ward Browse. But let me know what you think of West Ham's rebuild. I genuinely believe that they've gotten three players that are individually better than Declan Rice. And I think it's a, a, a very good transfer window. I mean, they got um, Declan Rice out, but they got Mohamed Kudis, one of the best talents in Europe. They got James Ward Browse, the best free kick taker in the world. Probably one of the best midfielders in last season for Southampton. And they've got Edson Alvarez, a highly experienced defensive midfielder who was chased by a lot of top teams and has played at the top, top level. I think this is a big transfer window for West Ham United. Thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing. Let me know what you think of this West Ham midfield rebuild. How wisely do you think West Ham have spent their money?